Hello my friends and fellow modelers Today I have you something different uh, You can say that uh, you will see uh, a teaser for uh, our book about flesh painting uh, that uh, we need of course a lot of time to prepare this um, but uh, I will do it uh, from uh, the start to the finish because I want to have uh, the, the control of everything and um, in that uh, for this purpose better uh, I have uh, done also something that uh, you can uh, have before the finished uh, book but I think that you can uh, find it very easy to use and helpful so what you, you are seeing here here is some of the base colors that uh, uh, Vallejo we have also one uh, from AK but mostly Vallejo uh, generally is um, uh, will be most of uh, uh, the well-known companies I will include everything and uh, I will test everything so I will give you the the correct results not uh, something that uh, we can imagine or uh, keep it in our fantasy that this will be the correct shade and the correct hue because uh, in a lot of cases you mix some colors that you think that uh, this is okay because uh, someone is told you uh, but uh, the result uh, it's a very dull grey brown flesh and we don't know, we don't want this uh, mostly of these uh, uh, mixes will be used for 135 132 and uh, in some boosts but uh, for sure we'll get very good results in 135 scale so what I have done here I will show to you a shortcut uh, using uh, the basic set for face and skin tone from Vallejo uh, this is the basic set that you can find it it's uh, you can find it very easily it's um, something that you can find in every country and uh, in all in most of the uh, hobby uh, model, modeling uh, shops and this includes eight shades for skin and face tones this is what Vallejo is suggest to have a basic uh, a basic hues for most common flesh hues uh, that we can find in the in our world of course this there is no something to darken or to uh, highlight because this is the basic the base color this is the intention of the set to have all the base color that um, because we have here a brown rose we have the salmon rose flat flesh light flesh dark flesh all these have uh, different uh, hues so why I'm telling you this because I will give you a shortcut having this set and only other three colors yes <laughs> probably a black and white probably you will need this for uh, the face of course of course for the iris maybe you want some blue or some green for the iris and some magenta probably for uh, making something uh, alternation but if you are want if you are uh, if you want it to have a basic different face and skin tone uh, i suggest you to have this set of course this my favorite 
of uh, Panzer A is because you know where to go and where to come back. Of course, the magic product of glaze medium. If you want to make bigger uh, surfaces, to paint bigger surfaces, you can use airbrush thinner and flow improver. Also this you can use it in your mix with a brush. Uh, delays a little the drying time, I, but I I don't want to mix a lot of uh, a lot of the things, so I use this one. So what I did for you, all this, all this is the base colors. All this. This is the the base flesh three four two four one. This is the flat flesh nine five five. The basic uh, skin tone 815, the dark flesh 927, the sunny skin tone 845, the medium flesh tone 860, the salmon rose 835, and the brown rose 803. I didn't include here, I forgot it, the light flesh, but it's very, very light, so it's impossible to use it like this. Uh, you must uh, mix it with, some, with something or if it's a very fair complexion so all this is what you can have in the base uh, colors of the set the base color but you have to darken it and highlight it what to suggest you I make for you all the necessary experiments to see if this my, uh, my approach is working so what I did I took one by one of these colors and I make the shadows using just one color by adding more and more we have the, the darkest of course but not you don't it's not needed to to use it clear just just uh, like that and highlight with this so do you want what I have done this is this is the the first one okay that I highlighted with this and shadowing with this. The, the result is the shadow here. It's wrong this number. Don't uh, give it uh, my turn. This is the shadow and this is the highlight color. So for 815, the basic stone is working. The same I have done for all the shades because it's important to see that it's working. It, it's not producing a gray, a dull highlight or a dark uh, color. So this is the uh, the dark shadow, the, the darker from flat flesh. The flat flesh, you have it here. So here will be everything in painted and you can produce the highlight from here and the shadows to here. As you can see almost everything producing a nice, uh, a nice uh, gradual, uh, very nice um, uh, gradually uh, colors for the highlights by adding more and more and for the shadows so I made for all for every small uh, even <laughs> small the only thing that I, ha I have to quote is for the very light flesh this one uh, I found it that it's almost impossible to use it uh, straight it's very very light uh, of course, if you make a big uh, fair complexion of a female, maybe you want to use it, but the 
the color the, the, is very very light if you can see here uh, what I did, I make it also the highlights, it's a little uh, yellowish, and the dark uh, shadows, the dark uh, colors. It's okay, you can work with this, uh, but it's very, very light. What I did, uh, I mixed the base with the base flesh of Panzer Aces, and I, get, I have a very, uh, very, very pleasant hue to start some other flesh with this and so you can use also light flesh or you can make your experiment if you want to use it as a highlight color but for me this is very important shortcut because maybe most of most of us we have all these colors in our uh, stash so what you have to do you can use all this as basic colors Make the dark the, the shadows with this, and this will be the highlights. There is no any problem uh, to produce dull gray brown uh, colors and to ruin your face or skin. Please try it and let me know your result. Don't forget that in some cases you can alter you can alter the basic with this, but I'm not sure if you mix this two in some uh, way <clears throat> in the painting process, if you mix this two, if you don't have grey results, probably this will give you not very good results, so with this dark, this highlights, don't mix the this one with this, ok, so you can have all this I have to show to you some that from my favorite. Uh, this is the flesh I've done years ago. Use it was probably my second uh, by using just the Panzer Aces three colors, and uh, I have succeeded. This result it was my first boost uh, that I did. Uh, almost everything in acrylic and I was very satisfied with the result and um, the eyes only I use for uh, something else and for the shadows of the bird but uh, it, this is the flesh is totally done by Panzer Aces as you remember in my, f my previous video also the face of this it's the three colors and some black for, uh, for the eyes nothing else so, try it and let me know.